What's up, YouTube? This is a video write-up for the challenge Drumbone, the first challenge in the steganography category from ICTF 2018. We can check out the challenge prompt here, just 150 points. It says, I joined a couple of hacking channels on IRC and I started receiving these strange messages. Someone sent me this image, can you figure out if there's anything suspicious in it? So we're given a download link, which I will go ahead and wget into our folder, because you want to have a directory for everything that you do in a CTF. So let's check out the file. I have Gnome Drumbone, and it looks like Elliot from Mr. Robot, just in his kind of glitch out classic Mr. Robot art and fashion. So, my first instinct is that, well, this is a steganography challenge, so let's go for our typical classic low hanging fruit steganography tools. I have stegsolve.jar pretty much already in random places on my hard drive, so I'm going to go ahead and copy them, and, and you can see I actually have some stuff from. Uh, ICTF in here, whatever, let's just bring that jar file over here. It is a jar file, so you want to have Java installed and then try and run Java tack jar on Stegsolve. You should be able to hit O to open up the file explorer and then open the drumbone.png file. I can't make this any larger, unfortunately, so um, we'll get through it pretty quickly. You can hit the arrow keys or click the mouse button to switch to different panes and viewing sections of uh, what Stegsolve will show you. And you can see we're getting each individual bit analyzing a specific color or whatever the case may be in any, any filter that Stegsolve gives us. So in blue plane zero, you can see the remnants of a QR code just kind of pieced together, but with very, very small pixels. So let's go ahead and edit this. I'm gonna go ahead and save it as um, like new.png or something. And then we can close out of that. Now we have new.png to work with. I'm gonna fire up GIMP so I can work with it. If you don't have GIMP installed, sudo apt install GIMP. That's simple stuff. Um, you can open up the file and zoom in a little bit, and we'll start to work with this thing. So this sucks in that it's all like one by one pixels, but hopefully, and thankfully anyway, we can let GIMP do all the work for us. If you go up to filters, you can get to edge detect, and then just simply edge, and then that will allow you to create or use one, ever, one sort of algorithm to go ahead and kind of detect all of these things around the specific pixels here. So I, I can do that just for one iteration. And if you're on Ubuntu, you can hit Alt to open up the HUD or the heads up display or the HUD, whatever. Um, then you can run this again or navigate through the menus if you need to. And then run that same edge detection one more time and that same edge detection one more time. And that way you'll get all of these pieces connected and you'll essentially have the makings of a QR code that we can handle. Let's go ahead and invert the colors though. Again, you may just have to go to image, uh, invert colors or colors, track it, track it down in, in the file menu of GIMP. And then realize that we have kind of these messy things here. Um, we can still probably try and solve and, and like actually evaluate this QR code. I don't know if it'll work, but it's worth trying. Let's call it like QR code png once it's exported we'll go back to our terminal and try and run zbar image on qr code and it doesn't look like it found it just yet so let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit more we got to get rid of all these pixels in the middle here so what i'm going to do is actually right click this layer and then add an alpha channel so i can just easily remove the background or the the back color because i want to be able to keep all these small notions of white but remove all the background colors of white so i can put it back together and you'll see kind of what I'm doing as I finish up here. I'm going to try and speed through this because I don't want you to have to bother to watch through all of it, but I'm going to use the quick select tool to grab all the white, at least the big segments of white. Hold down the shift key so I can keep adding new selections, and I'll slowly delete these. And then, again, hit delete whenever you're ready to get, it, get rid of the section. So um, I'm going to go ahead and kind of pause the video so you don't have to watch all this. So as a neat trick, once you have all of the white in the back removed, what you can do is go ahead and hit select by color, and then just click on one of these white spots here. So you can select all those small, tiny segments. And then if you invert the colors of that selection, you'll turn them all black, and you'll have like practically a QR code, except we need that white in the background. So let's create a new layer. Let's switch that to white and then drag that to the bottom. So our original QR code black is, is over it. Then we can export this again if we want to, go back to our terminal and run ZBar image and we get the flag just like that. Let's go ahead and uh, just cut that up. We probably don't need that output. It's the standard error stuff. Get the second field and that is our flag.txt. Just a simple, save this as a get flag script so we do our own documentation. And that's all we needed to do. A little bit of stag solve, a little bit of cleaning up a QR code, kind of 
annoying, but that one wasn't that bad. And hopefully you can be smart about how you're using GIMP to solve those challenges. Hey, quick shout out to the people that support me on Patreon. Thank you guys so much. You're the best. I love you. $1 a month on Patreon will give you a special shout out just like this at the end of every video. $5 or more on Patreon will give you early access to everything they release on YouTube. Um, please do join our Discord server. Link in the description. It's a cool community full of CTF players, programmers, and hackers. Um, a lot of the basis for this team and ICTF um, was kind of a, a collection and a gatherer of a couple people from the Discord server. So the, there are a lot of hard hitters. It's a really awesome community. So please come jam with us. Please come hang out. I'll welcome you. I'll personally welcome, or I'll, I'll try to anyway, <laughs> if I'm not asleep or dead, um, everyone that joins the server. So, All right. If you did like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Love to see you on Patreon. Love to see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. See ya.